morning, everyone, and welcome back to Life of Avalon. Um, this week, a few things going on. First of all, it's just going to be like a general like week in my life vlog. Like I feel like I haven't done a true one of those in a minute. Um, but today in particular, I'm feeling very anxious. Okay. I don't know what I was doing in here. If you know me and my channel, you know that I talk about anxiety like a decent amount. Um, I've said it in the past, but I'm like really open about it. And I just don't think it's anything that like, well, obviously I don't, I'm not saying I don't think it's any, but anything that people should like worry about talking about, but I think there's too much of a stigma around it. Um, and anyway, if you're someone who feels anxious, you can probably relate. And let's be honest, there's more of you out there than I think we recognize. Um, but when I personally get anxious, which like has been like less and less recently because I have, I have like a lot of like coping mechanisms and such. Um, but my biggest thing when I get anxious is working out. I swear it is like so therapeutic and nice. So today is Wednesday morning, so I can't just like bounce out of the house and go work out, even though I did try and wake up early and failed. Um, so right after work, I think I'm going to go for a very long, relaxing walk at just like the park near our house. Um, and then after Sebastian gets back, I'm going to go to the gym. Um, so that's my plan to like just like decompress and like try and get my anxiety away. Um, I think it's just like there's a lot of stuff going on. Obviously, like I'm here in Houston with Sebastian, like that whole move was like anxiety provoking. Um, like work is stressful, like my side projects are a little bit stressful. I'm away from my friends and family. So I think all of that combined is that. So I'm just like accepting the fact that I'm a little bit more anxious than normal, but also trying to do everything I can about it. Um, also I am in the process of letting a tan develop on my body. I'm using Isle of Paradise this time. Let me show you that one. This is actually a perfect example of a time that Isle of Paradise is superior because I have time to let it develop over the course of the day while wow, that transition of lighting was really harsh. So this is what I use. So there's different shades, but I use the green Isle of Paradise. These are the face drops. And then this is like the body spray version, both green. I think, what is this, medium? Yeah, medium. And then there's also like dark and light. I don't know if they've developed more shades, but not that I know of. And then I use Cetaphil like regular lotion. I'll put like literally like, um, like a pipette's worth, a like half of a pipette's worth of this into my fingers. Um, put a little dash of that on, rub it into my face, and then I'll spray this around my body and rub it in with the same set of fill. Super, super easy. But anyway, let's get to this day. Um, because I haven't eaten yet, I am having my Body Bloom by Sarah's Day. It's like my pre and probiotic. Let me show you that too. That is this bad boy. Um, so it's a Tropica product, and basically it has all of these like health and like beauty benefits. But during the move, I was not on top of it because it was like obviously packed away. So now that I'm like back in the apartment and like all settled in, I've been trying to take it every single morning before I put anything else in my system. Water is fine, but like before like coffee or food. Um, and I just like put it into like a little glass like this, mix her up and sip her. Um, I swear it helps my digestion so much. It also helps with the length of like your nails, like nail length growth. Like this is, these are my natural nails. They just have dip on it um, and also like hair. And, you know, I'm all about having like long, beautiful hair. So those two combined, I'm like, yes. So anyway, I'm going to do work, but I will catch up with you all at the end of the day for the rest of our week. Ciao. I have to tell if I was filling in my teeth and an acai bowl for a midday snack. And I always get pieces of granola up in my teeth. Anyway, it is time to go for a walk. So it looks like it's gonna rain, not ideal. I think I'm still gonna go and if I get wet, I get wet. Um, but I really hope I don't because then putting on this Isle of Paradise would have been for nothing. Um, but one thing I forgot to talk about is I have a hair mask in right now. Okay, as you can tell, my hair is like slicked back. Um, that's because last night I decided to put in 
all of my hair oils and let it sit for like 24 hours basically so that my hair could absorb it. So I'll show you what I use for that. Um, I use like three main products. And like I said, I'm like leaving it in for 24 hours this time, but you don't have to. You could easily leave it in for like a few hours, like right before you shower, just leave it in overnight and like shower it off in the morning. But I like to do it every few weeks just to like keep my hair hydrated. Um, and I just like, it's really good for your hair. When you wash your hair, it just feels like healthier, nicer, shinier, less frizzy, all of that good stuff. I am legit witnessing a tragedy right now. A legit freaking tragedy. Do you see this? Oh my God. This is my Isle of Paradise and I must not have, I'm a little idiot. I'm a little poop skillet. I didn't close this. I'm actually so stupid. Well, let me clean that up. Well, before I showed you that frightful scene, I was going to show you this. These are the hair oil, oh, hair oils I use. So this is the Olaplex number seven bonding oil. Um, my hairdresser recommended that to me after I talked about the fact that I did like hair oils. This is my Gazoo hair oil. Um, and then I have a few versions of like the Moroccan oil. Um, but these are the three I use. And if you've been like watching my channel for a little while, you just simply know that this is what I use. Um, but for those of you who don't watch, I use this every single time I get out of the shower and mixture between the Moroccan oil and the Olaplex. And then when I do hair masks, I use all three. Basically as much as I feel is necessary to like make sure all of my strands are like fully absorbed with um oil and i make sure to put a lot of this on the ends i feel like it's best for the ends um and then i put both of these like legit all over so those are what are sitting in my hair right now and what i will wash out tonight time to walk all right well that was perfect timing my airpod died literally as i was opening the door to get in the building so that was perfect. It was so humid out there. So um, I like went for, I don't want to say, I don't know, like I would have to look at the clock. I want to say roughly an hour. Um, I just walked around, listened to a podcast, chilled. I cannot get this open. Um, so I am going to hang out here. I am so thirsty. So I'm going to have a glass of the green juice I made yesterday or two days ago, I want to say. It's basically celery juice with cucumber, ginger, lemon is that it that might be it anyway i'm gonna have this bad boy it separates when it hangs out sorry that doesn't look as appealing as it could um and i'm gonna sit and read a little bit and then i'm gonna go to the gym after dinner i think i'll see how i'm feeling maybe i'll go before but i definitely want to go to the gym so like just to run out the rest of my anxiety and then i'll chill but i need a glass of this and a huge glass of water and then Sebastian will be home and we can assess the afternoon. All right, so this is the dilemma on my hands. Obviously this morning I tanned myself with Isle of Paradise and I'm already looking tanner. So like, thank goodness for that. But I wanna go to the gym, okay? And I wanna get it over with and I wanna be able to come back and like relax after showering and washing my hair and just like read a book uh, in my bed and feel clean. So I'm going to risk the beautiful tan and just go work out and hope it all works out for the best anyway because YOLO. So let's go get them. I'll show you my outfit. So just wearing this. So I have like a black sports bra on underneath this like crop top from Free People. It's like their athletic wear, but like you could easily wear it in like real life. I have worn it in real life. And then just some old Lululemon, um, whatever you call these leggings. And then my sneaks. So I'm going to go do a quick workout. Only when I'm anxious, I will work out by doing like a fast paced workout, whether that be like hit, spin, or like a run. Um, and I'm not really feeling hit or spin. So I think I'm gonna run, run out the anxiety. Okay, like don't hate me, but it's the next day and I haven't washed my hair. Like I should feel grosser than I feel, but I don't feel that gross about it. I don't know why, maybe it's because it's just like in like a slicked pack, like bun like it was yesterday, but it's on the to-do list for today, okay? I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna wash it and I'm gonna like blow it out and it'll be beautiful. But the whole reason I came on here to speak to you is because I'm going grocery shopping um, and I need a few things 
and I'm trying to make it like basically as healthy as, oh, hey, hey, hey you, hey me. Um, I'm trying to make it as healthy of like a haul as possible. I have like super ripe bananas that have been sitting in the fridge for like 700 days. So I need to make banana bread. So I'm gonna get either like a whole wheat flour or an oat flour, um, something slightly healthier and just make like a healthy version of banana bread so that Sebastian and I can like snack on it and still have it like be somewhat good for us. Um, also, I'm like looking at this right now, so I'm like, I have to show you. Um, I did something. And if you watched my last vlog, you know that I've been like very into painting recently. Um, and <laughs> this is embarrassing, but let me show you. So I painted this. I don't even know. I don't even, it's, it is what it is, okay? I painted that. And I went for this like abstract vibe. And when I first painted it, I was like, Vincent Van Gogh, is that you? Like I was obsessed with myself. And now I look at it and I'm like, child's play, like legit child's play. Because I went to the store and got a larger canvas because we have another space that needs to be filled, which is this one. So this is our guest room. Like, as you can tell, there's still like some things that need to be organized. Um, and that's like where I work all day long. But this wall needs something, okay? It needs a little something, something. So I bought a canvas specifically for that reason and it is right in there. And I think it is done, okay? I think it's done. I mean, I won't lie to you. I'm pretty freaking proud of this, okay? I'm pretty freaking proud. Yeah, so that's that. These are all like my painting supplies and stuff over here. But I think this is gonna hang on that wall. And I don't think I'm gonna add anything extra to it. So A plus effort for me. All right, enough of that nonsense. Let me grab my reusable bags and head out to go grocery shopping to get all of the stuff I need. All right, this is her. She is all um, made up, nice and chunky. Um, instead of using regular chocolate chips, since I'm trying to make this like every bit as slightly healthy as I can, not that it's really healthy, but I'm using these Who Gems. Um, shout out to you, Katrina, who introduced me to these. But anyway, they're just like more natural versions of chocolate chips. So I'm gonna throw a bunch of these in there and then pop this baddie in the oven. Here she is. I think she's a little darker as a result of the flour, but looking pretty sebastian seal of approval is here and he started eating directly from the inside like a savage but it's really good and really really gooey also i showered so i'm feeling like it's a really successful night hello okay so it is officially what day is it friday i have no makeup on yet because tonight i am headed out to um get what am i saying tonight i'm going with sebastian to do a um game night with our friends here in houston we're gonna go over to their apartment bring some food charcuterie board wine play some games i told shannon um one of my friends from home and she was like you guys are like legit an old married couple and i was like yeah, I'm not ashamed about it. Anyway, so that's on the agenda tonight and we're heading over there at 7.30. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go shopping quickly. I'm like really in the mood to like peruse Urban Outfitters and free people, like see if anything catches my eye and then come back, get ready, pick up Sebastian. We wanna grab them a housewarming gift because they were nice enough to get us one, uh, which was like this really nice anthropology candle. Ooh, actually good call. Maybe while I'm there, I'll run into something. Anyway, that's on the agenda tonight. So I will get ready like face and I don't know. I think I'm just gonna wear like sweats tonight. So I'll do that when I get back, but let's go shopping. Okay, so this actually worked out perfectly because I finished shopping and I am now waiting um, to pick up Sebastian 
as he gets out of work um, so that we can go and get ready before we head over to um, Olivia and Jason. Anyway, I'll show you what I got. Um, I think it's like way more helpful for me to show you my free people stuff like in the mirror when I get home because I think I'm gonna wear it tonight. Like, you know you like something that you bought when you wanna wear it right away. Like, am I right or am I right? Um, I also think that there's a scene regarding that in the movie, um, oh shoot, what's it called? with the football player and, um, okay, I'm forgetting it. I'll put that right here. Anyway, um, so I got Olivia and Jason their housewarming gift. It is so cute. And um, Nordstrom was cute enough to wrap it for me. Take advantage of that if you ever get a housewarming gift at Nordstrom. They like a wrapping center for anything that was like purchased there. And then you can also go there and like have them wrap something that's not from Nordstrom for a certain amount of dollars. I think it was like eight bucks or something. Anyway, um, I got this really cute like vase, almost like, I don't know how to call it. It's like a vase slash like liquid holder. So she could hypothetically put like flowers in there or like tea or coffee or even serve water. I don't really care. But like if I were shopping for myself, that's what I would have bought. And I got like these really cool um, and cute like natural wood coasters. Anyway, cute vibe. Um, but when I get home, I will put on this bad boy and show you what it looks like in real time. But basically it's like these like cool flowy pants and like a little top. Okay, so I got back and got ready, clearly. Let me show you the outfit um, that I bought. Okay, so this is it. So I got this tank top um, and it's actually not part of the set. This is like, you've probably seen me wear this. So this is actually brown, you really can't tell. But I have it in black and I wear it all the time with like the strap that's like about to fall off. So I got it in like a dark brown. And then these are the pants, they have pockets. Like, yes, everything. But let me show you the top that actually came with it. I'm undecided whether I'm going to wear this tonight or um, it with like the real top. So let me show you. All right. And then this is the top that actually came with the set. So originally I just wanted to buy the pants, to be honest. Like I'm not like that crazy about this top, but I like literally pulled the pants off of like the set hanger. And then she was like, oh no, it's actually a set. And I was like, oh, okay, JK, joke's on me. So I had to buy this, which like, obviously it's not like the worst top in the world. And it does look cute with this like set and this outfit, but I don't know. It's just like not perfect for me. So this is the other option can't really decide. I think because it's just like a chiller night, I'm gonna wear the other tank top. But just to show you, this is what I bought. Yep, it's decided, going with this one. All right, the night is over. So we met, we, oh. oh pff, we're just uh, in we're reverse in a parking spot. <laughs> All right, delete that. All right, so we just ended the night. <laughs> Um, yeah, anyway, we're on our way home. We are just going to go straight to bed. We're to be honest, we're like Jason, old people now. Yeah, fun time. Great time. We play a lot of games. You guys don't know them. You should already know them. Yeah, I think you, the, you the, vlog, the vlog at least knows Olivia. They haven't met Jason yet. Yeah. Um, anyway, what's the game we were playing? ER, ERF? Or ERS, yes, I don't know. But great time, yeah, card yeah, game. If you guys don't know, you're missing out. So we're gonna go to sleep, wake up. I'll catch up with you all tomorrow um, for ciao, our ciao. events then. But bye bye. ciao, good night. Good freaking morning. It is officially Saturday morning. I slept like a baby last night. Like legit slept so well. You know those nights where you fall asleep and you're like, and you wake up and it's like morning and you feel like you just slept like so deep. That was me. Um, so anyway, on the agenda today, again, Spash and I have some work to do. I feel like we've like gotten into this groove of doing like a lot of our like side work on Saturday, which like I kind of vibe with. So this morning I'm going to have some coffee here, have an acai bowl. And then I think Sebastian and I are going to go walk in one of like the really big parks around here and just kind of like enjoy the outdoor air for a little bit before we like coop ourselves up inside. And I think I'm also going to get some Starbucks because last weekend I got, um, Duncan because I like to treat myself to like one coffee from like, uh, outdoor place per, week so i choose like saturday or sunday often and um it was bad i love duncan and i think i will always prefer duncan but like the duncans down here i'm telling you they do not know what's up they like get a little too far south and they lose their shit you know so anyway gonna do starbucks i think this morning but let's go get the day once again two different type of people acai bowl and a beautiful breakfast little i don't even know egg situation we'll see who's superior mm. Uh, in my bowl. I finished off the granola, so there's a little bit more than normal, but like, I'm not upset about it. 
get ready for this shirt to be the one that I'm like addicted to for the next like six months. I've talked about this before, but once I get really into a piece of clothing, I like love it. Like same thing with these sweatpants. Um, anyway, so we're about to head out for like our day of errands. So we're gonna go to um, the park to walk. We're gonna like post up at a Starbucks or a cafe to like read and do some work. Then we're gonna head to the Galleria, do some like shopping and like things we need to do there. I need to fix my phone case, Sebastian needs some more clothes. And then we're gonna do a date night movie edition and see Suicide Squad, which neither of us are like super amped about, but like we can get on board with some like popcorn drinks. You know what I mean? So that is the agenda. Okay, first stop is Barnes & Noble, like, cafe, and also just, like, the Barnes & Noble so that we can sit here and, like, read and do work, and then maybe I'll peruse a few books, because why not? Adding this to the reading list. I've seen the movie, but I really want to read the book, and I think I'm going to get this after I finish Twilight. Another one that I own, I've legit just never gotten around to reading, but I've heard only good things about it. I've, like, read the first, like, three pages probably, like, 15 times, uh, but I actually have to read it. Movie time! Whoa. It's not closed. It's just around. Oh. Oh my god, I got nervous. We, like, parked on, like, the opposite side of the building and it looked closed, but just the wrong side. Just the wrong side. What the heck? This kid is running a red light. light. Up Date, the movie was really good. We both really liked it. We laughed a lot. It was funny. Um, we also just saw a guy run a red light, which was highly concerning, like on purpose, like after he had already stopped. Pretty weird. Um, now we're going home to relax, and I'm going to read some Twilight, and then I'll catch up with you homies in the morning. Good morning. It is now Sunday morning, and here's the thing. Okay, I was going to vlog my Sunday, but I'm like editing the vlog right now, and it's too long. Like literally the story of my life. I can never make these bad boys short. Um, but anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here, um, and save us all like 10 minutes of Sunday. So, um, anyway, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and join the fam. I upload new videos every single Sunday. And so like every seven days. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It just like supports my channel. and gives me an idea of what you all like to see. Um, but I love you all so much. I will see you all next week. Ciao, ciao.